morning. So we're here at the South End of Harecastle Tunnel. Uh, it has been a day. We took a day off and walked up into Tunstall, uh, past the memorials for um, a guy who helped create the Supermarine Spitfire and the Supermarine Walrus. And uh, it was rather sort of uh, unexpected to see the Supermarine Walrus on the side of uh, the way there. <clears throat> I've forgotten his name, unfortunately. I think it's R.J. Marshall Way or something like that. But frankly, it's too early in the morning for me to remember. So, um, yeah, anyway, it's it's cool. There's a, a bit of a walk. We go past a field full of pigs. It is a busy road with a, a large number of traffic circles, and there's quite an uphill climb. But then you get to Tunstall. There's a little there. There is an interesting little town square. It's sort of on the edge of Stoke-on-Trent, so it's kind of suburban, but also it has its own little history with a, a, a nice four-square clock and a little uh, town square, and there's a market that's under serious repair. But this morning, we have to make a short move up to Westport Lake because we are supposed to receive a shipment today. Um, turns out there was a minor error on one of Joe's maps, and so we had to get a rush uh, reshipment, and, and those are arriving today at um, a friend of Joe's mom's place, and she is nicely enough going to drive them over to us, and we want to make it a little bit easier for her to deliver them, and Westport Lake has a parking lot, so um, the easy access is fairly easy, whereas at the south end of Haircastle Tunnel here, it is a private parking lot for the CRT only, although they do seem to allow other vehicles in there, but it does say private parking only, and it's a little bit hard to get down to, so uh, we're going to move forward, which means we're going to make a like, one mile something-ish reposition right now. Uh, not the most exciting cruise of all time, but hey, we're going to go do it. So, George is ready. I'm ready. Joe is not here because she's not ready. There's an outlet that flows into the canal ahead, and this morning we watched a boat that was travelling towards us pushed right across the canal as it passed the jet of water. As he approaches the flow, Michael increases his speed and stays on the towpath side of the navigation, so that when he passes the flow, he'll only get pushed back to the centre of the channel where the water is deepest. That wasn't too bad at all. The flow must have eased off since the boat went through this morning. It's just over a mile from the tunnel end moorings to Westport Lake and the navigation pretty much runs in a straight line the whole way.
Good morning. Morning. We're out Westport Lake. So it's been quite miserable weather. It's either been raining really heavily or it's just been damp and miserable. At the moment it's damp and miserable. So mm. we'll take that over. Raining heavily. Yeah, yeah. George, come home. Yeah, it's been at times quite heavy rain. In fact, it seems that the a portion of the tree beside us fell down at some point, uh, probably just due to waterlogged roots. Um, it didn't go very far, but it, it's definitely kind of out of its normal position. George is off exploring. George is exploring. <whistles> George! George! Get over here! What did I say? What, what did I say? Right there. We were very happy to discover that we're moored right next to the uh, oatcake boat. Yes. Unfortunately, he doesn't open. Till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. And <laughs> gonna be our 48 hours are up. Um, <laughs> That's really annoying. Yeah. But we know there's oatcakes that way. I mean, literally, there are oatcakes this way right now. But there are further oatcakes further along. So, you know, whether we turn and go over to Leak or we continue down, uh, we're, we're going to get oatcakes eventually. <laughs> um... The other adventure we had here is we were walking along the canal uh, and there's a really steep drop from the from the towpath to the, the water here. Mm -hmm. And Michael threw the boat ball for George and George nosed it into the canal. And at this stage, our boat was like way down the other end. So we didn't have like a pole to grab it and we couldn't find a stick long enough and we couldn't chuck George in because it's like too deep of a drop to safely pull him out. Like we could have pulled him out, but mm -hmm. I wasn't comfortable. So... Um, I ran to get the pole, came back, and it was like halfway, well, it was all the way across the canal. So it's either we lose the ball or we get the boat. So Michael went and got the boat. And At the moment, a massive downpour began. But this is one of the times when it was a really heavy rain. So. Yeah, no it, time to get cameras out or anything. It was like a half hour mission to get the, the yeah. ball back. Yeah, and how much to look like a right numpty because, although from your perspective, it'll look like we just repositioned the boat because that's all we really did. Um, I had to drive over and get it beside where the ball was, but then I got stuck on the mud. So I was like, okay, can't it, it can't get the bow over enough. So I had to reverse out, get the back over. That got me almost close enough, but sent up a wave of water from me reversing that shoved the ball even further over. So I ended up tying a rope to our life preserver and just trying to throw it like this, rubber you ring. know, rubber ring. <laughs> just like, don't worry, ball. I'll don't worry, save I'll you. save you. Like the ball has any option, you know. So I'm like, I'm either going to like accidentally get it around it in which case i can just pull the ball back that's what i thought you were or doing. i'm going to splash it away from shore like these are the two things i'm trying to do right. was you know and eventually i did splash it away from the shore <laughs> and got it to the point where i could get in close enough to get our gaff pole down and actually pull it closer and we're moored and um, one boat away from the narrowboat's chef channel and maggie was like is everything okay yeah. <laughs> she didn't know what we were doing and i had a bunch of people watching me and i'm just like -ha! -ha! you know like four throws or whatever <laughs> and i just i know i look like a right idiot but anyway, i got the ball back got the ball back yeah. saved four pounds exactly <laughs> probably use that much in diesel <laughs> probably pretty close yeah um anyway today we're carrying on i think to Ituria. there's facilities here but there's just we and water. It uh, means Elsa. Yeah, sorry. There's Elsan. Is there there isn't chapter? actually water. I thought no. there was water. So, okay. Anyway, there's an Elsan. There is a shower. However, it is in rather bad repair at the moment. Um, Michael came back so miserable. <laughs> it got ever so slightly above cold. But the problem was that there's just, there's a washer gone somewhere in the, the sort of outflow from the uh, on-demand heater. And so most of the hot water just sort of squirts down the hose and falls onto the ground. And what remains is like the small amount that actually makes it up to the head of the shower. And then the head of the shower has a washer gone in it. So it's just like this torn out one side and these three spikes that shoot in all sorts of random directions right into your eyes and stuff. And there's nowhere in here to like put your clothing down. So my towel got partially soaked and yeah, it was just like, this is, Less than ideal. So we need to go to Euturia to use the facilities there, basically. Yeah. We need the rubbish. Yeah. And we don't want to carry down the... Uh, yeah, we're, we're loaded up with recycling right now and rubbish. We don't want to carry down the locks, if at all possible. So hopefully there's a mooring there. And because we've got some rubbish on our bow at the moment, and um, the night before last, some animal of some description got on the bow and ripped the bag open. Yeah. So it shredded the Which kitchen we... garbage bag. There was little eggshells and everything on our deck. I'm not surprised it happened. 
but I'm surprised it hasn't happened before now because we do that quite a lot. I think it must have been one of the either a rat yeah. or like I heard something in the night and I thought it was just ducks scraping along the side, which we get sometimes where they're trying to take some of the, yeah. the stuff off the side that we're, we're overexposing. Um, yeah. So I thought I heard this noise in the night and it was sort of this like sort of sound on the metal. So I thought that's what the ducks normally do, but it was at the front of the boat and it didn't move along the side. But I was too tired to get up and look. So then in the morning when you told me that there was this mess on the front, I'm like, I'm like, oh, I expected maybe some some geese or something had gotten in here. But then I thought I'd find like a whole bunch of goose poop and all that sort of thing. Well, there wasn't any of that, and it was just all shredded. Yeah. So something with teeth like got a fox in here. Or something. Yeah, either a fox or maybe a stoat or mink or something oh, or yeah, rats. rats. Anyway, yeah. something got in. Um, hopefully, it didn't get into the house. I've got, got no sign of any of that. Uh, anyway, let's get going. But yeah, yeah, it made a hell of a mess. Yeah. Right. So, okay. So we're on that way for a while. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Such a shame that we didn't get to sample the oat cakes from this boat. They're only open on Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays, so we missed out by a day. I think they're often on this mooring if you're ever passing. The route down to Aturia is fairly industrial, but I really like it. It's a bit scruffy in places, but there's lots to see along the way as you pass all the industry and potteries. We're going to be travelling just two and a half miles today and there's no locks or swing bridges to manoeuvre past so it's going to be a pretty relaxing trip. I just wish the weather was a little bit brighter. Whenever we pass here, I think about the boat we came to view back in 2017 when we were searching for Perseverance. It was out of the water on hard standing and we had to climb up a ladder in the pouring rain to get inside. It wasn't the one for us, but as we pass, I'm reminded of how different places appear when you arrive by boat. As well as the brokerage, there's a boatyard here and they do repairs and blacking. Last year, I think we stopped for diesel when we came through. Here's the visitor moorings for the Middleport Pottery. Michael has taken the pottery tour and he really enjoyed it. I'll put a link to that video in the description below in case you're interested. Here's a glimpse of one of the distinctive bottle kilns you get to go into as part of the tour. We're south of Middleport now, and that's the view across to the village of Wallstanton. You can just make out the church spire in the distance.
I'm guessing there was once a mill here, as this is the Pebble Mill Arm, but I couldn't find any information about it when I searched. Next to the pub is the Festival Park Marina, which is home to one of the Black Prince hire boat bases. There's Euturia Junction ahead. We're planning to continue south on the main line of the Trenton Mersey, but we're ready to finish for today, so we take the turn down the Calden Canal hoping to find somewhere to stop. The visitor moorings are pretty full, but there's one spot left that should be fine. Michael drops me and George off, and then goes to the turning point by the museum to spin the boat around, so we're back facing in the right direction for our next trip. We are at Tetraria Basin. Again. <laughs> again. And again, the Industrial Museum is not open. Yeah, I kind of wasn't expecting it to be. <laughs> no. But we are sitting under the watchful gaze of Brindley, so that's good. Feel safe. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, not too much of an adventure. A few miles down, 180 degree turn down there that was a little uh, less graceful than I'd hoped, but uh, but it worked. I should have grabbed the rope the first time you came in, but then you'd gone before I... Yeah, yeah. You'd kind of floated backwards. Well, I kind of to... bounced backwards. Yeah, I but hit, I... hit the wall and started going backwards. I could have done it. I could yeah. have grabbed it. But, and I should have just let go of George, but... Yeah, we got turned around. And we made it back up here onto a bit of an awkward mooring <laughs> where, like, only our two our front and rear corners are touching. Which is the two parts that need to be touching to help us get on and off, but it's not ideal. No, no, and it's lots of back and forth and trying to get it so that it's actually uh, securely fastened and the bumpers will stay in place so that we don't actually end up hitting all the uh, walls as boats pass. But a boat just passed us and we didn't shift around fine, too much, yeah. so I think we'll be fine. And for a very brief moment, I was tempted to go down the locks because there seem to be quite a few lock keepers working today. Yeah. Um, so I was like, oh, should we just go? But then the thought of doing seven locks, I'm like, nah. Nah, nah to heck with that. Stop here. Yeah. For a night or two. Yeah, they waved over to me to see, you know, are you coming down? And I'm like, no, I'm going that way. And they're like, great. And they just went back to sitting and chatting. And uh, yeah, and then t uh, another boat came out after us. Um, and he went north, and then another boat came, that green one. And they yeah. went, I thought they were going to go back and down to stone. There's a third one coming down the staircase. So I hope they get some customers. Cause yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure they will eventually. But yeah, we're on a good place for a waste point. Uh, the water point is right over there, so we can actually... Might, we don't really need to fill up. We might as well fill up while we're sat here. Yeah, well, because we can actually just run the hose straight over from there. We're close enough. So that's good. So a day here, maybe two, maybe and then two. on. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta make some phone calls. Yeah, find the canal, canal cruising club where we got our blacking done. Yeah, and run by a question about our engine. We have more smoke coming out of our engine than can really be explained by sort of its age. Um, I think there's probably a gasket going or something. So yeah. it's, it's beyond my ability to repair because it would require getting the engine out. And if we pull the engine out, we probably should paint the engine bay. So it's, yeah. or at least you must it. So we at least need to make a phone call and figure out what would even be possible. And that all depends on closures as well, because... If They're just, starting. Yeah, if closures start below that, after that, for a length of time, we'll be stuck. So yeah. we'll see. It's all up in the air at the so moment. So it's time to investigate that and find out. Yeah, so not a fun afternoon, basically. 
<laughs> but for the rest of you, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe to Minimalist Maximal Velocity for our time lapses. Um, also, there's a new version of Joe's vertical map, but that'll be up by the time you've seen this. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're just having some. That's what some of the phone calls are about. Is we had a print error. So uh, yeah, trying to get that done. And uh, oh, right, yes, and ring the bell notifications if you are on Chrome or on an app, apparently. Morning. Just as they start the engine. Excellent. <laughs> All right, pause for the engine. Good morning. Morning. For our Westport Lake. Very mm. nice morning. Yes. Not nice very, morning. Not a nice morning. Morning. No, the weather's the weather's actually been kind of miserable the last few days. It has been uh, quite heavy rain. It's and always or been just damp. damp. Yeah. We're just playing the exact opposite as each other. Yes. It's either been really heavy rain or just damp in the air. It's not been nice at all. Yep. yep. So there we go. We've just done it. Both. I was going to edit that bit out. <laughs> so then I said it again so we could start going. And then you said something that won't make sense with the edited out bit. <laughs> <laughs> you do it. No, you do it. Go ahead. Right there. Sit. 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 Sit down. Okay, come right here. Fine. And sit. Okay, whatever. You're down. Good. Uh, Rapscallion. <laughs>